A Fayetteville principal apologizing tonight to parents after waiting two to three hours before reporting a bomb threat. And Fine News reporter Caitlin Zollner joins us live with more on this. Caitlin. That's right. Many concerned parents attended a PTA meeting here at Washington Elementary School tonight after it took the principal a few hours to report a bomb threat last month. Principal Ashley McClarty told parents at tonight's meeting she was sorry for the delay in reporting a bomb threat from early last month. Do I feel bad? Uh, I feel reflective uh, and I would do things differently now knowing all uh, the things that need to take place. School officials say the bomb threat was found May 9th on a wall in the boys' bathroom. School officials tell us the threat was photographed with a cell phone and then washed off of the wall. Principal McClarty and the assistant principal conducted an internal investigation and decided two to three hours later to report the incident to school district administration. Like I said, my daughter attends school here, and so uh, I would want for all kids here to be feel safe. Uh, school officials showed a photograph of the threat to parents tonight, but said they could not show it to media because of an ongoing investigation. A police report states the threat said, I'm going to blow this place up. Melissa Warner has a first grade son at Washington Elementary. I want my son at least to know that it was serious and, and that it's not okay to do these kinds of things because he is very literal and wants to know exactly what's going to happen. Principal McClarty told parents tonight she plans to attend a crisis session this month, which is hosted by the school district. Schools will come together and talk about their individual policies and share things that they've learned or that they're thinking about doing. Parents tell us they are happy to hear Principal McClarty will be attending the session. I mean, in general, the protocols always are changing, and so I'm glad that they are having the trainings and that she's attending and that all the other, you know. Now that crisis session will be held once school is out on June 16th. Live in Fayetteville, Caitlin Zollner, 5 News. Hey, Caitlin, thanks. Moving forward, the principal says the school will now view every piece of graffiti that includes language concerning the safety of a students and staff as a threat, whereas before it was viewed as a disciplinary issue.